Is there any chemical laboratory that exists without laboratory glassware? No. Improper cleaning of laboratory glassware could bring about contamination during analysis, and this could be a source of analytical error. Today we are going to discuss about cleaning of laboratory glassware in a chemical laboratory. Our focus is going to be on process of cleaning, drying, and storage of laboratory glassware. And in this discussion, we are also going to include gush crucibles, silica and platinum crucibles, mortar and pestle in a chemical laboratory. Water laboratory glassware. These are a variety of equipment used in the laboratory made of glass. For example, volumetric flasks, measuring cylinders, burettes, pipettes, separating funnels, beakers, among others. How to prepare glassware for cleaning? I want to mention that preparation of glassware for cleaning is the responsibility of an analyst. Why? Because the analyst understands the type of analysis and the chemicals involved. The following are steps to be followed when preparing glassware for cleaning. Appropriately dispose chemicals used for analysis from glassware. If chemical can be disposed of down the drain, pour the chemical down the drain with lots of tap water. In case of solid waste, place waste in the segregated waste bin for disposal. Remove all labels from glassware and dispose. Rinse glassware with tap water and place it into the washing vessel. Rinse common laboratory chemicals as follows. Water-soluble solutions, e.g. sodium chloride solutions, rinse with tap water. Water insoluble solutions, e.g. chloroform, rinse two to three times with ethanol, and then rinse three to four times with tap water. Strong acids. Make sure you use a fume hood and carefully rinse the glassware with lots of tap water. Strong bases, e.g. strong sodium hydroxide solutions and strong ammonia solutions. Make sure you use a fume hood and carefully rinse the glassware with lots of tap water. Weak acids, e.g. 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid, rinse three to four times with tap water. Weak bases, e.g. 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide, rinse thoroughly with the tap water to remove the base. Put glassware in a basin with soapy water located at the cleaning area. Segregate burettes and pipettes from the other glassware and put them in a 1000 ml measuring cylinder with soap water. Cleaning glassware. Soak glassware in detergent for about 15 to 20 minutes to remove grease and loosen contaminants. Scrub with scoring pad or appropriate size test tube brush to remove particles that cannot be rinsed. Thoroughly rinse glassware with lots of tap water to remove all contaminants. Rinse three to four times with the ionized water, then drain the water. Ensure the ionized water rinse forms a smooth sheet when pouring through the clean glassware. If this sheeting action is not seen, more aggressive cleaning methods may be needed. Let's talk about pipettes. Place pipettes tips down in a cylinder or tall jar of water immediately after use. Do not drop them into the jar. This may break or chip the tips and render the pipettes useless for accurate measurements. A pad of cotton or glass wool at the bottom of the jar will help to prevent breaking of the tips. Be certain that the water level is high enough to immerse the greater portion of the pipette or the whole pipette. Use appropriate size test tube brush to remove particles that cannot be rinsed. Thoroughly rinse pipette with lots of tap water to remove all contaminants. Rinse three to four times with deionized water, then drain the water. Ensure deionized water rinse forms a smooth sheet when poured through clean pipette. If this sheeting action is not seen, more aggressive cleaning methods may be needed. Burettes. Remove the stop cork or rubber tip and wash the burettes with detergent and water. Rinse with tap water until all the dirt is removed. Use appropriate size test tube brush to remove particles that cannot be rinsed. Rinse three to four times with deionized water and then drain the water. Ensure deionized water rinse forms a smooth sheet when pouring through a clean burette. If this sheeting action is not seen, more aggressive cleaning methods may be needed. Wash the stop cork or rubber tip separately. Before a glass top cork is placed in the burette, lubricate the joint with stop cork lubricant. 
use only a small amount of lubricant. Remove stoppers and stop cocks when they are not in use, otherwise they may freeze in place. Dry glassware in an oven at a temperature not exceeding 60 degrees Celsius. After drying, remove the glassware from the oven and store in the respective storage area. Do not rinse glassware with organic solvents before drying, e.g. acetone. This leaves residues on the glassware, which is a contaminant to the sample during analysis. Before using the glassware, physically confirm the cleanliness of the glassware and rinse with deionized water. Let's talk about gush crucibles. Fill gush crucible with 10% nitric acid and soak for about 30 minutes. Wash with plenty of tap water. Apply vacuum and wash crucible again with plenty of tap water. Rinse 3 to 4 times with plenty of deionized water and keep in dryer. Cleaning of silica and platinum crucibles. Rinse crucible with 10% nitric acid and then with tap water. Rinse 3 to 4 times with purified water. Ignite crucible at 700 degrees Celsius in a muffle furnace. Switch off the muffle furnace and allow to cool. Cleaning of mortar and pestle. Dispose waste in the respective waste bin. Rinse with tap water. Scrub with scoring pad. Rinse again with plenty of tap water. Rinse three to four times with deionized water. Allow to dry before use. Safety precautions. While transferring and cleaning glassware, take care to avoid breakages. Do not spill water on the floor as one can slip and fall. Dispose cheap glassware in glass waste container located in the laboratory. Wear required safety gear while handling glassware. Do not mix mortars with glassware in the same container as they may break the glass. Do not add water to acid. Instead, slowly add acid to water. 1 to 1000. Use a fume cupboard when disposing concentrated acids and strong bases. Improper cleaning of laboratory glassware may cause contamination of samples during analysis and that could be a source of analytical error in the laboratory. Maintain good laboratory practices. If you like this video, share, subscribe, like, leave a comment and watch out for the next session.